New lawsuit tonight for the family of a teenager who was killed by a wrong way driver who was trying to get away from police. Ashley Ford died on June in June, rather, I should say, of 2021. She was just 19 years old. Boston 25 News reporter Drew Caritas just spoke to Ashley's mom. He's live in Saugus for us right now. And Drew, she says her daughter should still be here. Mark, her daughter was on her way home here to Lynn to pick up her Target uniform for a day of work when her life ended in an instant. This mother says it's not about the money, but rather standing firm in her stance that this police chase shouldn't have happened. By provoking him on and on and chasing him, there was no need for that. Michelle Luongo believes her 19-year-old daughter, Ashley Forward, would still be here today if it hadn't been for the police chase that ended with a wrong-way driver crashing into her daughter's car head-on on Route 107 in Saugus. It's not all about my daughter. It's all about doing what's right everybody. Luongo has filed a lawsuit against the town of Saugus in connection with the police chase that escalated just before 11 in the morning on June 9th, 2021, after police say suspect William Ledger robbed a 7-Eleven without a weapon. He crashed into forward about a mile and a half away as police were chasing him. The lawsuit says, quote, the continued pursuit of a suspect who committed a nonviolent felony only exacerbated and intensified the extreme danger of the situation to the public and specifically to Ms. Forward beyond reasonable law enforcement activity. A statement from Saugus Police in response to the lawsuit says, quote, our hearts go out to the victim and her family. However, we cannot comment on any pending litigation. She didn't go down with no purpose. She went down with a purpose. And if that's getting her word out there and wants justice in the right way and the right people held accountable, this is what I'm going to be here doing. The lawsuit says the suspect in this case is well known to police and could have been found and arrested without a high speed police chase. Says the two officers involved in the chase did not follow police protocol. We're live in Lynn, Drew Caritas for your local station, Boston 25 News.